So why does stress cause hair loss? Have you ever had a super stressful situation, like the loss of a job, a loved one, a relationship, and a few months later your hair starts falling out? Stress can actually cause hair loss. So how does that happen? When you're under stress, your hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis acts as if a tiger is chasing you. It really doesn't matter if the danger is life-threatening or you're just worried about being late. You get the same reaction. Your adrenals produce adrenaline, which increases your blood pressure and your heart rate. And then you produce cortisol in order to fuel the fight or flight. Now, if you don't need to run away from danger, all that extra cortisol is highly inflammatory. Cortisol and its metabolite cortisone are catabolic hormones which break down tissue. And one of the tissues that it tends to break down are your hair follicles. Now, you don't always see the hair loss right away. And so sometimes it's hard to say that it was a stressor that actually caused it. And that's because your hair responds to your hormone levels in a very delayed fashion. You have three different types of hair. You have hair that is in a growing phase, hair that is stagnant, and hair that is shedding. When you're under stress, you have a lot more shedding because of the catabolic effect of cortisol. And when your hypothalamus is occupied by constantly orchestrating a stress response, your hair growth promoting hormones get less stimulus. Healthy hair growth is really dependent upon estrogen and T3 production. In the most severe cases of cortisol-related hair loss, your hair can fall out in clumps. I have seen patients who have lost all of the hair on their head due to major stress. Once the stress is resolved though, the hair can grow back. Your adrenals get worn out by the constant stress response and adrenal fatigue can contribute to slow hair regrowth from lower DHEA production. DHEA helps you metabolize protein and fat, so with less DHEA you don't have the building blocks for healthy hair growth. So it's really important to support your adrenals and your hypothalamus to calm down the HPA axis so that your hair can actually start to grow back. And because your adrenals and thyroid are controlled by the same hypothalamic hormone, POMC, stress can affect thyroid hormone production too. Hair loss may be related to your low thyroid hormones, particularly T3, which stimulates hair growth. So you'll see a generalized thinning and excessive shedding. It won't be the patchy loss that you see with the cortisol-related hair loss. And stress can affect your sex hormones. So if you're under stress for a long period of time, all your progesterone is going to fuel cortisol production. And your periods can become irregular and your estrogen levels are going to fall eventually that's going to affect hair growth. Now, because your estrogen levels fall, more testosterone is free, which can accelerate hair loss, especially in the male pattern, in the front and on the crown. So what can you do about it? Well, number one, you've got to deal with the stressor. Now, you may not be able to change the financial situation, the loss you've had, or the fact that you lost a loved one. But you can change the way you react to it. So therapy, meditation, deep breathing, whatever you need to do to calm down. I have a calm meditation that is available in my Hormone Reboot Training, which will really help train your body to make more GABA, which is a very calming neurotransmitter produced by your parasympathetic nervous system. And then you need to support your hypothalamus. If your hypothalamus is constantly being triggered by this stress response, it's going to cause system-wide miscommunication with your adrenal glands, your thyroid, your ovaries or testes, creating problems. I recommend using Genesis Gold to support your hypothalamus and provide it with the nutrients it needs in order to regulate your hormones and also to help stimulate new hair growth. I have had patients who did not necessarily come to me with hair loss, but did have naturally thin hair, notice that their hair gets thicker with more hair growth and less shedding after taking Genesis Gold. Now, hair growth is not going to happen right away because your hormones have to get back into balance first. 
And then about two to three months later, you're going to notice that you're not shedding nearly as much and you start seeing new hair growth. Now, some people notice that their hair quality actually changes. Now, I've always had thick hair, but before Genesis Gold, it was really dry, brittle, and frizzy. Within months of taking Genesis Gold, my hair became incredibly soft and luxurious. Now, I can credit the micronutrients, the phytonutrients, but it's really because my hormones got into better balance. Stress can make your hair very unhealthy as the inflammatory cortisol strips the follicle of nutrients, causing dry, brittle, unhealthy hair. If you have any questions at all about stress-related hair loss, why don't you join me in our hormone support group? I do Facebook Lives on a regular basis to answer your questions, and you'll get access to the group by signing up for my Hormone Reboot Training, which is free. Plus, you'll get access to some amazing mini courses I teach to help you to learn what you need to do in order to heal and balance your hormones. The third thing that you need to do in order to reduce stress-related hair loss is to be sure that you're getting enough sleep. If you're not getting deep sleep, you're not in that restorative phase long enough to grow new tissues, and that includes hair. So you need at least seven to nine hours of deep sleep in the dark every night. If you're sleep deprived, something's got to give. And it's usually your hair that are the parts of your body that's really not crucial to survival that's going to go first. So the nutrients and the resources are going to go to vital organs like your heart, kidney, liver, brain before it goes to your hair. So you really want to make sure that you're getting deep sleep to reduce your adrenal stress response and help grow healthy hair. I'll see you in the next video.